what up muffin dot man it's been a while it's been a while um it's, it's been a very long time since i've actually posted anything on this channel and the reason for that is i recently moved um and the location where i was the internet was so bad so bad so i couldn't really upload anything um but even now as you can see like it's a bit of a mess because we just recently moved in um so I managed to get really good internet, so I'm gonna start doing some uploads. I'm gonna start streaming on Twitch again. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good, man. We're back. Um, but first things first, this computer right here, and this is my main rig. This has a Ryzen 5 5950X, um, 64 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LED uh, RGB Pro, running at 36. 100 mega transfers, GTS 1080i, which I'm gonna get upgraded. Um, it's a bit of a mess right now, and that's mostly because I knew I was gonna ch change the case. Because uh, at the moment, this case is the Corsair Carbon 400D. So it's quite an old one. As you can see, it's got the little sliding doors, which is really nice. But we're gonna upgrade that and move everything from this case over to the Corsair 5000D Airflow. Uh, one of the big reasons for this is because I got the NZXD, NZXD Kraken Z73 360mm AI and the problem with this case is you can see right here when having hard drives in there you can't actually populate that last fan which actually has been taking a bit of a hit uh, for calling so we're gonna basically move everything out of here. But not just do that, we're gonna swap out, I think there is a one terabyte, gigabyte Gen 3 SSD. We're gonna replace that with a Gen 4 Sabre Rocket SSD. And not only that, is there's three two terabyte hard drives in here. Mechanical drives, so we're gonna replace those with three two terabyte SSDs. This is gonna be an all SSD build. Um, so you come along for the ride. We're gonna basically, first of all, just take out all of the uh, fans, give them a clean, let's put them in the new case. Unfortunately, because I don't have a table, I'm actually doing this on my bed, so I can't actually vlog that, but I'm just gonna do bits and bobs um, in this vlog. So I'll catch y'all in a bit. When I get some fans in there. Look at all that dust on this fan. It's ridiculous. This is a fan that I actually just cleaned. Up. So you can see that it's quite see through. I'm actually just giving that a clean. Look at this one. God, it's ridiculous. The last house we was in was so dusty, it's ridiculous. Like, after cleaning this out, I give it a month and it's really, it's just pretty much dusty again. So I'm happy we're in a more cleaner house. But let's get cleaning. Okay, so we got all 10 fans. This case, I believe, can support. If you're going to do push and pull with your radiator, it could do about uh, 13 fans in the whole case, but I've got 10 fans. We're going to line this bad boy up with fans in and uh, we'll see what that looks like. So, so that actually took way longer than I thought, but I've got one fan there, three fans there, three fans here, and three fans on the radiator. I had to opt it by to using the original fans on these, so the actual ones that came with the uh, uh, AIO, AIO, unfortunately because I don't have enough um, RGB, um, well say RGB, but any white LED fans, so progress, we're making progress, progress, now I just need to get the board in, and I think I'll probably get some cable routing done for the PSU. Okay, so we're definitely coming along. We've got the motherboard in, the MSI X570E Mag Ace, which is a very nice motherboard. Let's get the power supply and sort out the cable management now. So this actually took me longer than I thought it would. Managed to get it done. Few notes about this. Corsair for the uh, 5000D. If you're gonna put the fans on the other side, 
of the radiator, if you have a radiator, make sure you don't have this, the fans over here, or the fans over up here done, installed, because it makes it a lot easier if you don't have these in, because you can get your hands in, trust me, it was a mess. Um, apart from that, I managed to get it all done. I've not got it hooked up to the monitor yet, but I just want to see if what we get if we turn it on. So we're going to just uh, test boot this. I've got the Elgato, um, the Elgato capture card, graphics card plugged in, everything plugged in. Let's see what happens. Switch. There we go. On. Oh. Oh damn, there we go. Everything plugged in, fans. All fans are spinning. Apart from these three. Yeah, these fans are not spinning, so I've got to figure out why that is. Yeah. Alright, well, at least we, we, we know we've got power, everything's working, so we're gonna just turn this off and have a look into why this these fans are not on. Alright, take two. Let's see if all the fans come on this time. Yes, sir. That sound is coming from that fan there. Is it? Yeah, definitely the bottom one. I'm gonna have to get that sorted, but at least, at least I know that this is somewhat done now. Uh, a few minor adjustments. Okay, guys. Okay, so let's just double check and make sure we have all the drive showing, memory showing, everything. I need to sort out that fan issue. Now that's for another time. Let's do the peel. Oh yeah. Perfect. All right, so let's see what the windows are saying. There's a problem. Uh, let's try again. So we're gonna. This is all good because this is we're gonna basically reset windows completely. We're gonna start fresh. So storage. We're showing one Kingston, perfect. One Samson, perfect. Crucial, perfect. Perfect. Uh, Sabrent Rocket, four. Okay, yeah, four, uh, four, four. Gen plus. But but so we're showing all the drives perfect there. Uh, memory, we are showing 64 gigs, Ryzen, yep, yeah, okay. So, the only thing to do left, the only thing that's left is for us to reinstall Windows. And I might sort out this fan curve, because this is a bit mad. This, like, can you listen to it? It's a bit mad, so, <laughs> although we have all the fans in there, now we should be getting ample, really good airflow going through. I can mess with the fan curve and kind of get that going to a decent level, because this is a bit ridiculous. Okay, so now with a new desk, let's move this out of the way. And the computer nicely sits in there. Let's have a quick look around the side. So that's uh, so that's doing good. I've actually been using a computer for a few weeks since um, actually changing everything over. Everything's staying super cool because of the amount of fans in there. The GPU doesn't actually get hot. It actually stays pretty cool. Plus the CPU as well because I've got the extra fan on there. Uh, but this is the layout essentially. There's still some work to do. Uh, I think about a week ago I got a new desk. Um, as you can see down there, the cable management needs to be sorted. Uh, got my work laptop here, which is connected to this monitor. Um, and got the main computer is connected to both of these monitor monitors so you can see there I've got the got an Asus external M.2 SSD closure Elgato Stream Deck my watch my 
Fit Bit Versa 2. Little mini soundbar. Got the Razer peripherals. Uh, I think that's the Razer, no, that's the HyperX Revolver S. Pretty good pair of headphones. You're probably wondering what this is for and what this is for. So I've actually got a Google Chrome TV plugged into this monitor. And this is essentially for when I'm working. Uh, where I've got the work on this screen, I don't really want to have the computer run because right now electric prices are stupid. Um, <laughs> quite ridiculous. So what I've actually got is the Chromecast plugged into there. The uh, so I'm just trying to uh, just got a call, so I'm a bit put off where I am now. But yeah, got a little footrest down there. Got the PlayStation Five, the Nintendo Switch the controllers. There's not much in terms of cabinet space, which this I believe is lacking, but there is this little thing right here where I can kind of put all my cables and stuff. Uh, it's a pretty nice desk. I need to sort out the cable management, and what I will also do is sort out some RGB light strips around the back uh, and get that all going. But for now, this is what we got. This is what we're working with. Just be prepared to start seeing me stream more and do some more unboxing videos. So I've got one plan, I've got a few things planned for some reviews as well anyway. Um, but yes, I am back. But I'll catch y'all later. Peace.